So yo, what's up guys, Thrill here, here to bring you Bakuman Season 2, Episode 6 review. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I actually just finished watching the episode. That was, that was hard to watch for, for multiple reasons. Uh, Jesus, god damn. Uh, the, I think the coolest thing, honestly, out of the entire episode is just the fact that we get to see Masha and Ozuki interact with each other. Like, actually talk to each other, be in the same presence, and then finally they're even in the same room looking at each other. Which is actually pretty cute, and we even get some more development on their relationship or how Ozuki felt about their relationship since the beginning. Apparently, from what you remember in the first season where she, uh, Saigo was always saying that he noticed her in like fifth grade, what was it, sixth grade, fifth or sixth grade, uh, and they were staring at each other from the pool. Apparently, Ozuki noticed him like two years before that. Apparently he had saw some of the pictures he had drew when he was little. Because remember, when he was little, he was really into manga artists. You know, the whole manga thing. And apparently she's been into him since, what was it, third or fourth grade. And he, she's kind of crazy. Like, before the swimming pool shit with him, she knows him like two years before that. And I thought that was pretty cool. But what kind of bothers me about this episode is multiple things. The first thing that bothers me is the fact that throughout the entire episode, the whole fucking point of the entire episode is to get... Mashiro to chill the fuck out. He's sick. Dude, he has to have surgery. They're gonna be on hiatus for three months. And, and the whole fucking point is to get him to, sh to, to chill the fuck out and not to fucking draw. Shujin feels that way, but he couldn't actually physically tell him that. So what he did is he called Azuki. That's how Azuki found out. And Kai even, like, slaps the shit out of him for doing that. Because it's like, why would you... Because essentially, they're telling him that he's gonna be in he's gonna be in the hospital for at least over th about three months, which means the manga has to take a three month break. And on top of all that shit, on top of the three month break, you have he's he Saigo's trying to sneak the fucking manuscript, and he's he's intentionally trying to get all this done. Like even though he should totally take a break, he totally wants to still get it in. And I'm like, and you know, that's cool for like the first few minutes. And Shuji, even like an idiot, goes, yeah. And I'm thinking, Shuji, you're his best friend. You should have logically thought this out. And then Kai had to slap some sense into him and he called Asuki. And Asuki can't even convince him. Like, there are points in the damn episode where she's like, if you keep drawing, I'll hate you. And he's like, well, you can hate me then. I'm like, wow. You guys don't even fucking talk. Like, the, the relationship isn't to me because, you know, it's a weird relationship. It's like... You're not stable enough to say some shit like that anyway. So I'm like, I mean, the relationship isn't like so hardcore and so into each other. Well, it's silently into each other. But I would think, wow, you Asuki didn't even get you to stop, dude. You know, on top of all that, she goes through the whole explanation about how she liked him two years before she he even noticed her. And he still put the manga over her. He even says it in the fucking episode. He's like, manga over you. And I'm like, really? The, you're gonna put the manga over her? Cause she, cause there's a there's a point where she asks him, "Do you like manga more than you like me?" And she's like, "Well, that's not fair, cause I like those. That's completely not fair, cause I like both of them. But if you're gonna put it that way, yes, I like manga more." And I was like, "Wow, that is fucked up." And surprisingly, you don't see any emotional backdrop from her. I mean, for God's sake, she even comes in the damn room. Because it starts off with her, like, talking through the door and shit. And then he walks out to call Shujin to bring the manuscript. And then he finds out that Azuki couldn't get him to Vincent, so he just says, fuck it, I'm bringing the manuscript. And then she invites him in. And she watches him draw or color the damn page. And then, on, and then this, the episode ends on like kind of a fucked up mode because, you know, Nizuma finds out through Yujiro. Nizuma comes visit. Automatically catches the fact that Azuki is his girlfriend. His mom comes in and automatically catches that he, that's her girlfriend. I was like, Yujiro doesn't get it. And there's a point where he's like, man, you're a fucking idiot. And he's like, yeah, you are an idiot. Now he's like, yeah, you're a fucking idiot. He's like, why well, I am an idiot. I didn't catch that. Because apparently Nizuma caught that... The heroine in the in, in in their manga looks exactly like Azuki. But anyways, he tells Miura, he calls Yujiro calls Miura and Miura gets over there, and it's like the nigga as soon as he gets over there, like not even like a few seconds after the fact, the nigga's in pain and he's still trying to draw. And 
you know, at that point, Shuji and Mira are like, no, you need to take a break. And this, in the entire fucking time, he's still like, I'm good. And I'm like, no, who the fuck do you want? And even Nazuki goes to the point, it's like, Shuji, you brought the mask up over. You, that means you were prepared to see him draw no matter where. That means he's fine. He says he can keep drawing. And Azuki gets up and grabs one of the pins he knocks over because, you know, he's in pain. And has him fucking keep drawing. And, I, and that's how the episode ends. And I'm like, no, you fool. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you serious? Like, I don't even understand. What the hell? <laughs> it, it, it bothered me on so many levels. Because for one, you... you you outright said the thing you your job is more important than your girl. I mean, yeah, y'all don't have the most stable relationship, but that's, that, that bothers me on so many levels. Mind you, I like Shuji and Kaya as a couple more. But god damn it, that's the main couple of the series, and you go and say some shit like, Mong is more important to me than you? That fucks with me. It wasn't even like he justified it, he just fucking said Mong is more important. Like, the question was, do you like Manga over me? And he's like, yeah, I like Mongo. I'm like, what the fuck, don't you, what? <laughs> there wasn't any justification where you just fucking said it. I was like, no, that's, that's fucked up, so I go on so many levels. And I swear to God, the next episode looks like Fakuda finds out. And also looks like the chief editor comes to the fucking hospital. So I'm hoping that it, his girlfriend couldn't even get him to fucking stop. I'm hoping the chief editor does, does something. Someone needs, like, I was at the point where I was like, Psycho, someone needs to suck the shit out of you. Cause you're just on some bull- I understand- like, I understand it's a color page, right? I mean, maybe this is supposed to kind of show the lengths that some manga artists are prepared to go through. I mean, but fuck. Who, uh, I forget the name of Yu Hakusho's, uh, manga creator. But for God's sake, he took a break a hundred and hundred. You gotta know when to- when and when not to push yourself. I can understand pushing yourself if you're a little tired. Not pushing yourself when you were about to have surgery and you're on some shit. If he, if he was just, you know, lack of malnutrition, I could put up with that. That's like a week. That's like a fucking week. But it's not lack of malnutrition. It's fucking a liver. A part of his liver needs to be taken the fuck out. Why are you... <laughs> like, you're gonna die <laughs> if you keep fucking with it. It's like, it's simple. It's simple now, but you're pushing yourself and making it harder. It's like, yeah, don't take the leeway that God let you have the whole liver thing and then just abuse it. And I'm hoping the chief tells him to sit the fuck down. Because Miura couldn't do it. Shujin couldn't do it. Azuki couldn't fucking do it. It's like, God. It, you know, I'm, I was waiting for someone to make his uncle reference. Like, you, you look like your uncle right now. And your uncle's dead, mind you. So, and you, well, how old are you? You're not, and you're just a senior? Like... I'm hoping the editor makes the uncle reference that I'm thinking, because I was thinking that entire episode. It's like, you look like your uncle right now. Which means you look cool, but you look like a dumbass for overworking yourself. And that's where Psycho's at. It, it's, it was even more disturbing that Ozuki was like, on his, like, was just kind of switched gears and was like, yeah, you, you said you were fine. Like, I feel like, I don't know if Ozuki was being sarcastic with it, or if she was being truly honest with it. And if she's been truly honest, it bugs the crap out of me. He just fucking told you. I don't know. This, this episode bothers me. This is not a bad episode. It just bothers me, man. I like, I like that. You just, I feel bad that the episode that bothers me in this season is the first episode we get to see them interact. Like in a normal conversation, quote-unquote, face-to-face, at least for some portion of it. It's, it's actually pretty cute and it's enjoyable. But the, some of the shit Psycho said really pissed me off. And I swear to God, he better apologize to Ozuki for some of that shit. Because that really ticked me off. Him, when you, when you, you said your fucking, you said your job is more important than your girlfriend. I'm sorry, that just bugged me. That bugged me a little bit. I don't know, maybe that's the way I am. That just bugs me. <sighs> she wouldn't even insult it. I'm sorry. It's not really a happy review, it just... That bothered me, man. It fucking bothered me. The chief, that's what God, the editor, the chief editor, better get on his ass. Cause that, oh, I'm not I'm a huge fan of him trying to kill himself to write. It's like I would have enjoyed more of you, nigga. Don't. I understand this. I'm reading an anime that's a manga, but I don't want you randomly, intentionally fucking up. Your, you managed to fuck up a relationship and make yourself look like a jackass in the course of an episode. Cause he looks like a jackass. I'm sorry. Cause I could look like a jackass. It's like, it's not, it's not fucking, it's not, you know, cool as shit, and it's not, like, awesome determination, 
when you essentially insult your girlfriend and then on top of that just keep fucking going even when it's blatantly obvious to everyone else that you need to take a fucking break. I mean, Psycho had that problem in the first season. They actually took it as an actual plot device. He needs to chill the fuck out. I'm sorry, I'm rambling now. That's it for the review. I'm about to go watch Hunter x Hunter. It comes out in like 15 minutes, so I'll catch you guys later. Thoughts in the comments section. That really bothered me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Peace.